Hey y'all, welcome back to Two Old Crows Homestead. This is Shelly, and there is Randy right there. He is unboxing our um, poultry netting that we got from Premier One because right now the fence that we have over here is, um, it's actually for goats and sheep. And we really haven't had a problem with it. I think our rooster got out once and then he got zapped and so he didn't do that again. But um, we've got some smaller chicks or some, they're not really, they're kind of in between chicks and chicken size that we're gonna introduce into our flock. So we had to make sure that we got the poultry netting because it has the little, um, I think it's like three by two inch holes at the bottom that keeps them from getting through there because the way that is right now some of them could just walk right through and they'd be gone um so today that's project number one is getting that set up and then we're gonna flip the compost ring and start a new one so that's where we're at y'all it is hotter than you know what out here and it's a beautiful day but oh my gosh it is so hot um, here's Randy. Say hi, Randy. <laughs> we, um, we have put up the, the new fence. I'll show you in a minute. And, um, we're just taking a break, trying to regroup about, um, I think we're going to try to leave the, the brooder box that we had for the younger chickens in the coop. Um, just to have a place to separate them to because I know, you know, I've read and read and read about chickens and um, we've never introduced new chickens into, you know, an established flock or whatever. Especially and, chicks. Yeah, especially chicks. So um, I think we're just going to take it slow and see how they react and make sure that um, King doesn't try to act like a jerk or whatever which he probably will but i mean i know that there's like a certain amount of dominance that's going to happen but i don't want anything to happen to the new chicks so um we're going to do our best to take care of them but um let me turn the camera around and i'll show you the new fence so this is the new fence and as you can see well i don't know if you could tell from the other videos but this fence is actually um the, the poultry netting is 164 feet long the one that we got yeah you can see right here so right there where um this green part is at this line right here that's where the other fence was at and so we actually moved this down quite a bit and gave them a little bit more room and um i don't know how that's going to work out we'll adjust if we need to but um there's our compost ring and they have while i was gone that thing was built up to the edge and they have completely tore it apart or whatever which is good but um randy and i are going to flip that here in a minute and um and we're going to start a new one and we'll get them out here and let them start checking it out a lot of this straw that's in here has not broken down much at all. So that's going to go on the bottom, in the middle. And I just checked this with a um, compost thermometer and it read 110. And I'm thinking it needs to be around a lot more than that, 150 or so. And um, it says on the compost thermometer that that means it's active, so that's a good thing. But we've got a little bit of black stuff going on at the bottom. Can you put your ring up? How will as soon as we get this? Smoking. Huh? It's smoking? Yay! That's good. It's smoking, y'all. That means heat's getting generated down no, in there. No, you said it wrong. It's smoking. <laughs> I do see some white stuff, though, and I know that that's not good. Hey, I need you to keep spraying water. Oh, 
Yeah, I completely forgot about that. As soon as I said, I saw the white stuff. You keep spraying while we're putting stuff on there. Keep spraying. Look at that, Mommy. Yep, good. that's looking good. We just want this straw to break down. Wow, it's hot. <laughs> okay. Um, that's the thing about doing this is it has to be done. No matter what time of the year it is or what kind of day you have or, you know, obviously it's if it's a torrential downpour, you're not going to be out in that. But maybe you are. I mean, it depends on what, you're, what you have. If you've got a cow down or something, then I guess you got to be out in the weather. But, um, anyways, there he is, breaking through and trying to bring everything over to the compost pile. So, take a look. Let me turn it around. So, this is what it looks like. This is what we've got. Um, a lot of that straw still needs to break down, but the animal bedding is breaking down. I can't really distinguish that in the pile right now. Um... There are, over here where the ring was, which is probably where we're going to put the ring again, there's all kinds of creepy crawlies going through that. Worms and beetles and bugs and just everything. Um, so I'm sure they're going to be over here digging through that. I think I put the rake in the garage. So this guy had a ring put back on it over here? Huh? The ring's got to go back over here? No, the ring's got to go over here and start over again on this side. What about this? Well, this is where the beauty of this comes in, right, y'all? This is where, um, right now, because this has been sitting in the ground for so, or sitting on the ground for so long, um, we're hoping that it is just riddled with creepy crawlies. And this is what the chickens are going to be eating. And, um... Yeah, we're hoping that they start digging through this and moving it around and turning it all week and um, getting some heat built up in there. But that's the beauty of the system. At some point, I expect to not have to give them feed. I want to start monitoring what, um, you know, how much feed we give them. Maybe cut that in half, see how they deal with that. So it's hard to do that with the chicks because um, I want them to have the best, you know, chance of survival. So um, we're we're still going to use feed. I still want them to to be able to eat. But once they get bigger, is that the turkeys making that noise? What is that? Huh? I don't know what that was. Um, but I'm hoping that. Um, once they get a little bit bigger, then this is what they're going to be eating. Fingers crossed. So, um, yeah, that's where we're at tonight. We're going to put the ring. Let me just turn around this way. We're going to put the ring again right there and um, get started again. 
They are tearing up the new ring. A couple of them actually ran out and started digging through this, but then when they saw the food over there, they started, there was some table, we put some table scraps and some lettuce and stuff in there, and they ran over there to that. Randy is inside the coop letting the chicks out, but they haven't ventured out here yet. And I'm standing out here to see if they do, make sure that King doesn't hurt them. Actually... So right now we just have like straw bedding down in the bottom of the new ring. And then Randy has been down there raking up piles of grass to add. And um, Crystal is cleaning out the turkey coop down there. I don't know if you can see her. Yeah, she's shoveling out the turkey coop to put fresh bedding in there for them. And then she's also going to clean out the stall where we had them in the barn and add that to it. We'll probably bring all of that up here tomorrow to add the next layer. But check out Miss Thing. She's over here checking out the pile. And so this is a funny thing. And those of you who have chickens, you probably already know this. But, you know, this is our first year raising chickens. But King will run around and... um he'll find food. You know, he'll start, especially at our other place when we let them kind of free range in the backyard, he would walk around and find, um, you know, bugs and stuff like that. And then he would make a certain call and they would come running and, and he would just stand there and kind of watch and, you know, protect them while they dug through the grass wherever he was at. And he always found stuff for them. So, this looks like the girls are way more interested in the food over there. Oh, here we go. Looky here. One of the chicks are out here. And she just took a dump. You scared the crap out of her, Randy. I'm not entirely sure it's a she. I'm not sure what. I know we have some um, lavender Orpingtons. That was one of the bigger ones we got. And my friend Kay wasn't sure what kind that one was. Um, and we got, ha, huh, some of those super hairy ones, like the real fluffy looking ones. I think they're like a type of, um, they have the little eggs. We got some black lace wine dots. I think that's the one that just came out the door. That's a black lace. I'm not sure what all of them. I can't think of what those white fluffy ones are. I'm going to have to look it up and I'll tell you what it is. I don't remember. But here they come. What up, babies? There's one of the lavender Orpingtons. See those things right there? The super fluffy ones? If you know what those are, comment. I don't know why the name has escaped me. I can't think of what they are. But yeah. These are the new chicky babies. We'll give you some time to get used to it, y'all, but we got a job for you to do. See what the ladies over there are doing? Yep. But you get very well rewarded. They're like, what is this? I'll go back in. It's, yep. It's the big outdoors. Yay, we're making compost. Woo! So, anyway, that's an update for the chicken tractor on steroids, and thanks for watching, and God bless.